Hello everyone and welcome to my July plan with me. This month I wanted a pretty simple color scheme um, so I'm doing a red poppies theme and I'm just going in with my Tombow Fudonosuke hard tip brush and I'm just outlining all of the flowers and the flower design I made is pretty simple. It's just sort of like a standard flower design and then in the middle I just did like a more black center and then the marker that I used for this video is the Uniposca um, like bright red marker and I'm just going in with that and coloring in all the petals. I did end up going back and painting over some of them to give them a little more dimension but you could totally leave it as is with a red marker and you could also use any red marker for this i just really liked the shade of red that this marker was so that's why i chose this specific one and for the july header i also just did some basic cursive and then i wanted a collage which is something i've never done before so i went to pexels which is um like a copyright free image resource so it's like stock images and stuff like that so I found a few of those that I liked and I just printed them out and I cut them out and arranged them a little bit to see how I wanted them to look so that's what you see me doing here and um yeah so I sort of just adjusted them and then I used my little double-sided tape dispenser to just stick them in my journal and this was a lot of fun for me. I really liked this um, since I've never done it before. It was definitely sort of like something I would want to do again. Um, so I'm, I might do that for my August theme. I'm not sure yet. But um, yeah, so I just found a few pictures of like poppy fields and um, a few like in focus poppy flower pictures. And I just cut them out in different shapes. And yeah. Also, you don't have to use one of these um, tape dispensers. You could totally just use a glue stick. I just like these because I don't have to wait for it to dry and I'm kind of lazy. So I just stuck those in and then I sort of went and I checked the quote that I wanted to use and um, I ended up going in with my Tombow Fudonosuke again and I just wrote a quote and I thought the quote was kind of an interesting way to put things, especially in, like, how this has been lately. Um, and then you can see I actually rewrote. So the quote is, may the flowers remind us why the rain was necessary. And so then I went to my calendar, and I wanted a pretty basic calendar layout. So I just did the horizontal lines with um, my red Tombow dual tip and... I just added some poppy designs and then went in with the July calligraphy and I actually really liked how this came out. I don't usually do an open calendar like this, I usually do little boxes. So yeah, and then I just went in and did the flowers with the Uniposca red marker and yeah, I really liked how the two shades of red were different. Um, I think it just gives it like a little bit of dimension and then you can see that I accidentally smudged my flower. So moving on, I went over to the habit tracker and my playlist. And I also have never done a playlist spread before. Um, so the playlist idea and the um, quote I actually got from Amanda Rage Lee. I just thought that I, I really liked those two things that she's been adding lately. So for these two spreads, I just did the same little poppy pattern. And I used pretty much the same like poppy layouts for everything so uh yeah I only had to like ever draw like a few different flowers and then I draw a few I drew a few buds and yeah so I am just using my Furunosuke again and then I just went in with my Tombow to do like the outlines for the different habits um and then this is my favorite pen it is the papermate ink joy gel in the 0.7 tip they're my favorite gel pen 
and I just did all of my little calendars. And then I outlined the playlist things for the songs that I wanted to do and then colored in all of the poppies with the Uniposca marker. Honestly, painting these might be faster. Drawing with like a fine tip paint marker took a long time. So whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Um, like I said, I went back and ended up painting over them just because I wanted a little bit of a more dimensional look. But um, you could do it either way. And then I actually didn't have a song choice picked out yet when I filmed this, so I actually ended up adding those later. You'll see those at the end of the video. So moving on to my first week, I just did this pretty simple layout. Um, I just did the main days of the week and then I did the weekend all in one instead of doing separate Saturdays and Sundays. So you can see I'm just filling in the poppy designs that I made. I did end up... Um, like tracing these in pencil first and then going back with the Furunosuke. But yeah, I just used sort of the same calligraphy look for the whole month to make it look nice and uniform. And yeah, this is my flip through. And then I ended up adding some craft paper and washi tape later. So this is what that looks like. Um, I think the washi tape I got from Amazon and I just really like the way it looks, especially with the collage look. And then I also just added it in little accent areas throughout my month so you can see I just sort of like ripped up some craft paper I actually got mine from a Walmart box um, that came as like package stuff and then I ended up doing a youtuber and Instagram spread so I hope you enjoyed this video